What is up? Lock picking newbie here, and I've got today a Fortress 1850D. This is a blast from the past. Anybody who had a high school locker or even a, a, a gym locker probably had one of these. I had these back in 9th, 10th, 11th grade, and uh, uh, I found out a way to bypass them and I'm going to see if it still holds up to this day. Um, I haven't tried it because it's still in the package so uh, <laughs> let's open it up and see how it goes. Uh, may work, may not work. I don't know guys. Uh, I can't imagine. I mean this thing was like the most vulnerable lock ever back in the day when I went to school uh, which was like a long time ago. So I just can't imagine that that would still be vulnerable. In any event, there it is, brand new. I have not seen the combination yet. I'm going to put it so you can see it. And um, uh, let's see if the old way still holds true. Uh, I don't know. Um, not a bad little lock. Um, I mean, it is what it is. Uh, <laughs> they're very cheap. But anyhow, I want to try something before I try my old method. I want to see if these shims work. I ordered these shims off the Chinese site and I would be shocked if they actually work. Uh, it doesn't even feel like it's going to fit in there. I know these are aluminum. These aren't very expensive. Um, I'm sure the I'm sure you can get them on covert instruments and stuff. Get really good expensive ones. I just saw these and thought well let me give them a try. Um, and I can't even get them to go down into the thing much less turn it and twist it so I don't think these things are going to work I think that might have been a waste of money uh, I might have to order some I might have to order some good ones from Covert Instruments and see if they work uh, where's the thinnest one I can find here there's like 12 of them in this package uh, it's like six bucks I think for all of these but as you can see, I can't even get it down into the... Oh, there we go. Uh, now I can tell you this ain't going to work. This, the, oh, the, the little rubber tips are falling off of it. I mean, these things are cheap, cheap, cheap. Uh, I think I'm just going to throw these in the garbage can and order a set from uh, Covert Instruments. And... Nah, this thing ain't going to work at all. It's just bending. Alright, so that's garbage. These shims are junk. So, back in the day, you used to be able to take this lock, put a little pressure on it, and just spin it around until you hear it click. See if I'm going the right way. There we go. Oh, there's a click. Alright, so move it back to that's 10. Okay. Loosen it up, go all the way around. I'll pick it up again, start going the other way. And. No. You can still move it. Still loose. Oh, there's a good one, that's tight. Okay. So, that looks like a 12. That's pretty tight, it won't go any further. Alright, now we'll just go back the other way. Yep, it's hard. And when we get to the number, it should pop right open. And there it is, it still works. I can't believe it. I can't believe 40 years later you can still open this lock as quick without a combination. <laughs> as if you had the combination. So, um, well... <laughs> I guess it hasn't improved and that, that was it. Yeah, 10, 12, 23 right on the money. I'll be darned. Well, the shims are bust. Uh, garbage. I'm going to throw them in the garbage because it's like the cheapest lock made. If the shims can't open this, then they're just useless. So, uh, in any event, wow, I can't believe it still works after all these years. That's all I've got for this video. Thank you so much for watching. As always, have a great day and we'll catch you next time. Lock picking newbie out.